What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon, I'm your comic book noob. Welcome to the Noob Rebirth. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about something that's a little bit more, I don't know if you would say controversial, but a lot of people have a lot of opinions about it. Opinion based! Uh, so yeah, I just want to, I guess, have a disclaimer at the start. Uh, anything we say, just remember that a lot of it is just opinion based. I don't want anyone to sort of, I guess, get offended. This is just us talking uh, and thoughts. We'll probably have some facts in there. Is this your disclaimer? This is, I don't know if it's a disclaimer. And also, just when it comes to comments, obviously we want to hear what people have to say, but uh, just be respectful. Uh, basically what we're going to talk about today is, uh, is woke culture ruining comic books, pop culture, all that sort of stuff. So let's get straight into it. Just a quick shout out to my sub minions. Channel membership is now available. To find out more, hit the join button to find out about perks, exclusive content, including extended versions of the new rebirth. But always remember, your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking the videos and leaving a comment. Let's do this. Is this good elbow length? Is that all right? It's a little bit close. A little bit close? Jeez, That's Christ. Good. Watch him slowly move towards me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, loves I me. I just love you. That's right. Anyway, say hi, Mark. <laughs> hi, Mark. All right, so before we start, I want to look up the meaning of woke. I thought I had an idea of what woke Words change, right? Words change. Yeah. Well, so, I thought I had an idea of yeah. what woke was. I guess what I was trying to say is, I thought I had an idea of what woke was, but then, I, and I don't look at it as a negative thing. And I feel like it's become almost a negative thing over the years. So having or marked by an active awareness of systemic injustices and prejudices, especially those involving the treatment of ethnic, racial, or sexual minorities. Correct. Uh, That's what it used to mean. It means something different now. Yeah, well, again, like I felt like in the yeah. past when I first heard the term woke, uh, I automatically thought I knew what it meant, and I think I was correct back then. But I just feel like there's a lot of um, negativity towards the, uh, the term now. So I guess we want to discuss, and obviously a lot of people talk about it uh, when talking about today's comic books and stories and things like, like that. They're entertainment, basically, uh, um, how, how the woke agenda has creeped into our, all our favorite IPs, intellectual properties. Because what, what I find is, I think people who have been into comics for a long time are really heated about this topic right now. Well, it's it's uh, it's it's basically woke now. What it means now is people are are not hired on talent; they're cast because of their uh, color of their skin or their sexuality or non-sexuality, just because uh, the company needs to tick a box. And so, you know, which is a shame because there's a lot of talented writers and if you hire these people on their talent, then the, the true meaning of woke will, will, will happen, I, I think. I was watching a thing last night actually about, uh, I think she's the lady who's going to be directing the new Star Wars movie about Rey. And I think she made a quote, something like, and again, I might be misquoting, but she said something along the lines of, you know, it's going to be great to see a female make Star Wars great, or something along those lines. Shape right? the stars, shape the, uh, the, but, the galaxy far, far away. I guess the YouTuber who made the video was just saying, well, that's kind of silly because like, there's already iconic women in Star Wars. You've got Leia, you've got the recent Ahsoka show and all those characters yeah, from but Rebels you've got, and stuff. You, you've had other directors yeah. and filmmakers in Star Wars. Yes, yeah, yeah, but, yeah exactly, like Bryce Cat Dallas Howard. That's right, yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard, Kathleen Kennedy. And also his argument was you can't, He's like saying, there's been women who've made great Star Wars things, and he goes, and there've been men who made the new trilogy, you know, <laughs> that everyone hate. And he was basically just saying, I don't think fans give a crap what your sexuality is, what your race is, or any of that. People just want good stories. It's like all the shells would come out, will come out and defend that new Ray movie and the director, but you know, and they're saying that internet trolls and the, and the internet toxic Star Wars fandom well, are going to bring this movie down. I mean, for instance, like Ryan Kennel, right, from RK Outpost on YouTube, he had an interesting thing to say was, if, if you're going to give us a pile of shit, then we're going to criticise you, whether you're male or female. Look at the director of Last Jedi. They gave him shit because it was a crap movie. Look at J.J. Abrams' movie. 
you know, they, they, that was crap, crap, they were crap as well, so they gave him shit. So it doesn't matter. It's things like that that make you shake your head and go, this world has gone mad. Uh, I was bringing back to the comic books, like, I guess, and not so much the, not people who are writing, but more about the characters. I think they really get affected in the comic book world. I guess the biggest thing that people often talk about and complain about is obviously changing a character's sexuality because I guess let's start on the other side first obviously there's gonna be people out there that are enjoying that stuff too there's always gonna be two sides of the coin right and that's why I say I feel like it's always people have been into comics for a long time they don't like these changes but for someone who's I guess newer to comic books and I'll give you an example I'm only five years deep into comic books and I, I didn't go back and read all the, you know, the popular stuff, the famous stuff, the historic stuff. I just kind of jumped straight into where we were up to now. So a lot of those new characters that people didn't like, I was like, well, I like them because it's kind of like, this is, this is my little era. So you're going to have people who've grown up with today's comic books who maybe have only been into comic books for the last four or five years like me. And this is just all they know. And you've got to remember, there are people obviously that do, I'll give an example. But, but, yeah. I've spoken to Tom Taylor a lot, and obviously he gets a lot of heat for the whole John Kent thing. But he also gets a lot of people basically saying, you know, thank you for, you know... Yeah, but not, I wouldn't say it would be, it would be more the other way around. He gets a lot of hate, yes, yes. absolutely. Yes, because... But here's the thing for that's me... That's the majority. So it's from the minority that he kept the thank you, and that's, and that's the thing now. It's, it's catered to a new audience, yeah. right? Let's cater to a new audience, which a lot of the time don't exist. Or, or they want to pull those that audience into the comic book industry or into the IP or into the whatever. This it is may how be. we're going to get the younger people to get in comics because comic books died yes. off, right? But uh, what, what, that I, what that I don't understand is that you have you have already got a fan base. You have a fan base. Yeah. You don't even have to try yeah. to get new readers. Yeah. You have a fan base sitting here. Doesn't matter if it's a whatever IP it is. And if Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Harry Potter, you have a fan base ready to go. And so by disfranchising your fan base, yeah. who's been there for for ages and for and who's got, always going to be there, buying your merchandise, buying your books, buying your yeah. T-shirts, your and then and catering to the minority, then. Uh, I, I just don't understand that that policy. Most of that minority that they're catering to don't even go and watch movies or collect comics. I, I, but you have a, a fan base already who do that. So I, it's like a it's like a conundrum. I just don't understand. I and like I, and I yeah. absolutely am on the side of when you change a character that has so much history. Um, so the thing with the Jonathan Kent thing, him being bisexual, that doesn't bother me too much because I feel like Jonathan Kent from my understanding, he's always been a kid. Yeah, so I, don't, I, don't. I guess his sexuality didn't really matter. No, it didn't matter to sense, me either. But it's more characters like, I guess, Tim Drake, who have been around for 40 years. 90, from, since the 90s. Uh, Constantine, I think they changed. It wasn't Green Lantern or Green something? Green the original Green Lantern. That's a big... Alan Scott. That's a big, big change. Iceman. I totally understand, and I'm on the side of uh, that's That's mm. crap. And it's the same goes for when people, I guess in movies, and I know I'm gonna probably cop some shit for this too, but when you change the race of a character, and people say, why does it matter? Well, it's because that character has history, and it's a weird topic, because I know people get upset, so why can't this character be black, or Asian, and things like that, and, cause, and to me, it's just like, well, because, He's not. <laughs> that, that's all it is to me. I was like, I grew up with that character. I've seen all these movies. It doesn't make sense to just be like, oh, no. Why can't he be this color to appeal to these people? Because to me, I was like, well, because he wasn't. Because you, that, those people have, like, a, there, a, there is here. A, a good example, a, a really good example, yeah. is Captain America. Yeah. You got Steve Rogers. Yeah. And you got Sam Wilson. What would have been wrong? And if you know the answer to this, please put it in the comments. What would have been wrong? for Sam Wilson to become the Falcon, stay as the Falcon, instead of turning him into Captain America. Steve Rogers is Captain America. And so there's nothing wrong with the character Falcon. Yeah, that's true, that's there's true. There's nothing wrong with him, nothing. He was, he's a great character and he could make a great leader. But that's a very comic thing, comic book thing to do as well, have him take over the man. I think it's a weird thing. I feel like a comic book character like that is no, iconic. It's, it's, but it's it's a very comic like Winter Soldier has been Captain hang America. Hang on, hang on. The difference between Captain America and Bucky Barnes or Steve Rogers is nothing, really. They both have super serums. 
where's Sam Wilson's super serum? And the only reason they changed it was to have, you know, uh, African American Captain America. It is the only reason. Because well, because Falcon was fine. Great, great, great character. Yeah. And and the and the and, and the sales reflect that. How not no one really went for that. So uh, another example is um I remember there was talks of them doing a new Superman movie and they were gonna make him African American. And people were saying they're gonna make Clark Kent African American. And that's like what? And people are, oh, why can't he be black? And also like, well, because he's not. He's been around for so long. And the other thing is, there are Supermans that are black. There's Steel? Yeah. Who's the other one? No, oh, yeah, he's in it from another Earth. There's he's another one Earth, that- From Earth 2, I think. There's another Earth one that Tom three. Taylor created him, I think, as well. Yes. So it was just weird, like, why don't you do a Superman and introduce those characters? And he's actually the, pro the president of the United States in that world. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> um, bring those characters out to the, to the public. Because people who know Superman only know Superman, Clark Kent. Why don't you introduce the mainstream to the world of characters that DC, Marvel have created? Because there are so many of them and they just, it's like, if you, it's almost like their thought process would be, if we do this Superman that no one knows, no one's gonna care. I don't think yeah. that's true. You know, they love the bait and switch as well. For instance, a bait and switch would be, oh, come watch The Witcher, season three. And the show's all about the half the time the witch is in bed dying, and it's all about uh, Yennefer and Siri. So that's what you call a bait and switch. You know, they advertise that the Witcher sees through, yeah, but it's not really about him. Even though the show's called The Witcher. You know what I mean? Same with Obi Wan. That was a bait and switch. Especially about Obi Wan. It was all about Leia. So that's what you call a bait and switch. They use the IPs to lure us in. Another example is The Rings of Power. The producers and the, the showrunner came out, we're going to be true source material, you know, and it wasn't, absolutely not. Like, what's your opinion? I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, you're younger than me. You're like, well, again, like, I guess I don't get as worked up about everything because I guess, like I said, I do have a problem with characters that have history when you just change them. And that's the same as just, not just changing their sexuality or race, whatever it be. That goes with just when you do something that's out of character. All right, so when you feel, okay, so who's your favorite character in the MCU? In the MCU? Yeah, MCU. Uh, in the movies? Yeah. Oh, probably Thor. Thor. Yeah. So what do you think of what they did to, to him in Love and Thunder? <laughs> well, <laughs> look. What did you think? <sighs> Be honest. What did you think of what they did to that character? I guess the thing I loved, I liked about Thor in the first place was he always had, I guess, a humor element to him. Yes, Disney. but it's, we, we, it was literal humor. Yeah. There was some stuff, like when he was in heaven, wherever he was, and there was like the god of something. <laughs> like what? Correct. <laughs> and that, no, but that's one ridiculous it's thing. But funny, it's but... the character. Like what Taika Waititi did to that character, he absolutely destroyed that character. And that's in fashion with Hulk, what they did to the Hulk. They made him a rage monster, they made him into a pacifist. They, they killed Iron Man, and then, they, and, then they dis and, and, and they made Captain America old. I mean, why in, in, in God's name, would you kill your brand? Because they are the brand. They are the Marvel brand. Didn't Chris Evans kind of, wasn't he over it or wasn't he demanding a they lot could of have money? They could have recast, mate. Recast is almost as bad as changing someone's no, race. <laughs> it, they had the perfect opportunity to recast. Yeah. Was That was with the, with the, with the snap. I just want to say, as far as like, I know you were talking earlier about like, I guess people getting hired because of their race or sexuality or gender, whatever it be. I mean, in some ways, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but... No, of course not, but it's that's the reason why they're being hired, not because of their talent. It's obviously good that in today's day and age, someone who's transgender, for example, can get into a movie or whatever it be. Yeah. Right? Well, I feel like 20 years ago, and obviously it was and a not, different and, time. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's, that's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. It's the pandering to, like, to the woke yeah. mob on Twitter as well. I say it's almost like now they're getting favoured over. <laughs> Absolutely, it's, it's yeah. exactly, it's exactly yeah. what's okay. happening. They're being yeah. favoured. Look, it's, yes, you got to have, you know, um, diversity and to the point of having uh, um, representation, these words, these buzzwords. Black Panther which the first movie was a great film, right? It had a hero's journey, the leader of his country, you know, ha had adversity, so on. Then the second one comes along, 
And I always say to people, did you feel represented? Did you feel represented in that film? No. Me? Yeah. No, I wanted my uh, yellow panda. Right? So, it's representation, it's representation not for everyone. That, and that's the thing, and that's the thing they can't get around. They say representation, but not for you. The word woke has always been in Star Trek as well. Woke was in Star Trek from the beginning, but back then it meant something different from what it means now. That's it. That, that's 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 the difference. And it's not that I'm against anything, it, or we are against anything. It's just we're bringing to light how the word woke has changed now in our entertainments. It's okay to have a different opinion. It's okay, right? It's okay to have a different opinion than yours. Than, than yours. Yes. It, that, and that's what and, and that's what some people don't realise. I think that's the biggest problem. I think today, I don't want to say the word. I think today a lot of people who are sort of into the whole woke culture, I feel like they all want to be very opinionated. But then I feel like you get castrated for not having the same opinion. I feel like we're living in a world where you can't agree to disagree. You know what I mean? Mm, and I absolutely. feel like that's, that's the problem for sure. Oh, absolutely. But guys, that is all for today. Um, oh! Again. Too close, too close. Oh, yeah. Hey, you watch, you watch back to today's video and see how he slowly just gets closer to me throughout the video. You. I love all right, you. All right, all yeah. right. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, please let us know in the comments what you guys feel, but please uh, be respectful to each other. Because obviously I know it's a very touchy topic for a lot of people, uh, but we would love to obviously hear your feedback uh, on the topic. And again, uh, I don't know, Mark said to me earlier when I said, is work culture ruining comic books? He was like, I don't know if you should use the word ruining. I'm gonna do it for clickbait. But, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts uh, on this topic and... Um, Thank you. And say bye, Mark. Bye, bye. And keep it simple. <laughs> All right. Five million views coming up. <laughs> what do you want to do for the for the? Uh, I, feel, I might just take a screenshot. I don't think we should be funny. Okay. I'm the thumbnail for this one. All right.